Hello, my name is Robin Heppel, and I'm a funeral director. Over the years, many family members have asked, why do people view their loved ones? And although formal visitations may not be as common, still, many families find comfort in being able to see their family member one last time. There are three reasons for this. First, to acknowledge that the death has actually occurred. Second, to see them in a peaceful state. And third, to say goodbye. In today's busy society, we're more mobile, whether we're traveling or living abroad. And we're not always in the same town when a loved one dies. Thus, we have to take someone else's word for it, leaving us in a state of doubt. The same is true in cases of sudden death, whether it be a medical situation, a vehicle or other accident, murder or suicide. And not having the opportunity for a viewing can leave us in a degree of doubt. This is even more evident in times of circumstances that don't allow family members to view, such as an airplane crash, or more particularly, September 11th. This is why great pains are taken to retrieve those remains for DNA purposes for identification. But still, many people are left with the uncertainty of the death actually happening. And by having the opportunity for a viewing, those individuals can acknowledge for themselves that the death has actually occurred. Also, with the increase of long-term illnesses like cancer, sick family members suffer in their final days. And we see them in pain, heavily medicated or hooked up to machines. And these last visions can stay with us for quite a while, whether it be holding vigils at home or at the hospital for days, weeks, or even months. And the same is true for tragic accidents or suicides. Maybe the family me members witness the horrific sight, or they are told the gruesome details. For these circumstances, viewing at the funeral home allows them to see their loved one in a peaceful state, without tubes, sunken cheeks, or ghastly wounds. And sometimes, we just need to say goodbye. Whether the death was sudden or we were out of town. Today's busy world sometimes prevents us from picking up the phone or popping by for a cup of coffee or tea. Maybe the last conversation ended in haste, or maybe it hadn't happened for some time. Whatever the circumstances, viewing gives the, the survivors a chance to say thank you, to say I love you, or to say goodbye. From time to time, people say that they don't want to remember their loved one lying in a casket, thinking that these memories will haunt them. I reflect back to when my grandfather died. We had the traditional visitation for two hours or more. And sure, if I think about it, I can, I can visualize him in the casket. But whether it be a couple of minutes or two hours, the memory of viewing isn't even a blip on the lifetime of all those memories. And it is, those, it is that lifetime of memories that I think of when I think of Grandpa. Although every circumstance is unique, having the opportunity to view the deceased can help family members through the grieving process. Your local funeral director can help you for your specific circumstance. It is an honor to assist family members in one of the toughest times of their lives. And we take that very seriously. This is Robin Heppel representing your local funeral professional. Thank you.